And this is agony to watch on the streets of Athens. The world record holder, the multiple world cross-country champion, the world silver medalist from 10,000 metres in Seville, Paula Radcliffe. Her dreams of Olympic glory are unravelling here in the scorching temperatures of Greece. Collapsing to the roadside, but surely there are more great days to come. After Athens, how did you mentally recover from that? Um, by getting back to, to full health, first of all. So I think first uh, actually, and the most important thing was to find out what really had happened and to kind of put those pieces together in my mind. And then just getting back to enjoying racing and enjoying training again. Um, and for me, the two kind of went together. So my, my way to heal and my way to feel better is to go for a run. So it kind of went hand in hand a little bit but we didn't really set objectives or training goals in that time. And it was only when things started to really come together that I then thought, okay, let's look around for some races. And the New York Marathon was in two weeks. So I just called up the, the race director and asked him if I, could, if I could jump into that race. What an end to this race. Just a matter of a couple of months after experiencing Olympic heartache, Paula Radcliffe shoulder to shoulder with Susan Chepkamai. Who's going to take the New York Marathon title? What a way to bounce back. Radcliffe's bravery is never in question. Can she find the sprint? Can she find the acceleration? She can! Radcliffe bounces back from Athens heartache, taking the New York Marathon title in the autumn of 2004. Absolutely incredible. Did you enjoy any other sports at school? Um, yes, but I wasn't any good at any of them. I enjoyed badminton. Uh, tennis and netball played a bit of hockey but I wasn't very good at it my daughter's much better than I ever was at that um I also enjoyed swimming but I don't know that I was particularly good at it I'm probably naturally competitive in, in other sports but not particularly talented for those um what age did you like realize that running was what you wanted to focus on um, around 11. Um, I also played judo when I was, uh, not at school, but as, as a child, and I enjoyed judo. Um, but when I moved house at 11, um, I really loved the athletics club. And then my coach said to me that he wanted to build a team to win the under 13 girls national team title. And could I commit to coming twice a week to athletics training? And um, so that was all the encouragement I needed really to, to ditch judo uh, and to, to focus a little bit more on athletics. I think it's, um, it's discovering where that passion is for you. And for me, it was, it was in running. What advice would you give to people around my age who aspire to be professional athletes? I think when, when, you're, when you're your age, um, you really just need to focus on, on enjoying it and on learning and harnessing the skills. So knowing your own body, knowing where, where is, where, what it feels like to be running as hard as you can for that distance, rather than focusing on trying to run huge distances and huge volume when you're young. And I wouldn't even really think about being a professional athlete at your age, just think about being the best that you can be and getting the best out of yourself. And then if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. A good thing to aim for is to beat your personal best each year. So if each year you come back and you try and beat your personal best, some years you might beat it by a long way. The next year it might only be by a little bit, but it's still progress. If, if you weren't an athlete, what, what other profession would you have focused on? That's a really good question because I think I was so lucky to be able to, to make my career doing something that would have been my hobby anyway. Um, I studied languages at university um, and I wanted to go into a career in international business. So I guess in some ways I kind of did that, but it was international running business. <laughs> um, and then now I still get the chance to use my languages every day. Um, so I think it's really important, even if you want to pursue a career in athletics and in running, that you focus on having your, your um, qualifications behind you. So get doing as well as you possibly can in your exams at school um, and then at university, because you never know whether you're going to be able to make it as a professional athlete or whether you're going to get injured and have your career cut short. So being able to have a backup career, if you like, that you also enjoy 
and that you've also worked hard towards it, it is a really good plan and it's something that my coaches and my parents really really stressed to me and I'm so glad they did thank you for taking the time to speak to me thank you Jack well good luck and well done